Hi YouTube, it is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2011. I am cooking Thanksgiving dinner for five people. And I am going to start today. I'm gonna to make a roasted butternut squash uh, as one of my vegetables with some red onions. And I've never made this before. I actually just tasted it recently. I bought it in a um, display counter and it was delicious and I'm going to try and copy it. They basically told me they cut up the butternut squash and toss it with olive oil and the red onions but wouldn't tell me what the secret spice was. I'm thinking it's going to be cinnamon and brown sugar. Salt and pepper. How bad can that be? So simply I'm just going to cut up the butternut squash, cut up the onions, toss them in a pan uh, with the salt, pepper, cinnamon, brown sugar, roast them and should be simple, quick, easy and done. So I'm just coming back in to say, wow, butternut squash is really hard to cut up. I don't care how sharp your knife is. So you just want to go around the sides, get rid of the skin, and then core it, or not core it, just um, cut it up, cube it into pieces after you make sure the outer part is off. So that's what it's going to look like, and I'll show you the rest when it's all done. So I just cut the butternut squash in half. I'm going to seed it. Boy, that was a job for a strong person. I'm going to seed it, cut it up into little half inch size pieces, cube it, and then just toss it in the olive oil. So I'll show, show you what it looks like after I cut it up. So I cut up the butternut squash. That was a job. And it, of course, doesn't make as much as the size it looks like, but that's going to be plenty for um, a side dish. And then I'm just going to cut up one of these onions. thought I was going to need two, but I'm only going to use one. Probably even use the small one. Just toss it in there and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. So I wound up only using a half of that onion and I chopped it up a little chunky instead of in um, stringy pieces. So just a little square, a little chunky. And now I am just going to put olive oil, salt, and pepper. Again, I've never made this. I'm just completely winging it based on taste and I'm sure it'll be fine. So olive oil. You definitely want enough to coat it so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Don't start out too liberal. Just enough to coat it because you can always overdo it. Make sure you cover it all because you don't want it to dry out. And I might even have a little bit much in there. I always overdo it with the olive oil. I'm gonna soak some up. I mean, I think it should be fine, but just don't want it to be, that to be the dominant flavor. Definitely want the onions and the butternut squash to be the dominant flavor. And then of course the seasoning. So brown sugar, I don't know. Let's start out with a quarter cup, which I think will be too much. I'm gonna go with about half of that. Might want a little bit more to caramelize it. So salt and pepper for sure. So you're gonna have that kind of sweet and savory. But not squash and onions do get sweet as well. So pepper will take that away. Cinnamon. Now let's try a teaspoon, which is going to be too much, I'm sure. Try a half a teaspoon. Okay, I think I'm gonna definitely put some more brown sugar. Just eyeballing it, trying to get an idea. And maybe a little bit more cinnamon, but not much. going to flatten it out, roast it, should be an hour. You usually roast butternut squash between 375 and 400. I put my oven at 375 so it might be a little longer than an hour. And um, it'll be a nice side dish. That's what it looks like uncooked and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So there's the finished product. It's beautiful butternut squash. It's sweet. Um, I just gave it a try. It's delicious. So uh, winging and guessing at the recipe came out great. You could taste the cinnamon, uh, almost uh, 
the onions caramelized sweet, the butternut squash sweet, um, little hint of the brown sugar. It's just perfect and it's going to be a nice side dish. I'm going to let it cool and um, get on to making my cream spinach. And just finished my cranberry sauce which is cooling right there and getting ready for a <laughs> very carby holiday.